It is a known fact that every symbol has a unique meaning. In that case what does this unique symbol, caduceus, which is used in various forms and modifications by many medical organizations mean? Is it just a custom or does it have a deeper meaning? Let's find out. The truth behind this symbol lies deep in the past. The story of this medical symbol started way back in 1400 BC, traveled through time has undergone many changes and misconceptions and has finally reached the present state. To get an insight let us roll back together, to ancient Greece. The beautiful Greece. The sea is sapphire colored, and the sky burns like a heated opal through the air and eye. All the flower-stewn hills of Arcady and for the blue lands that to the eastward lie. The ripple of the water on the side, and a red sun upon the seas to rye. We stand upon the soil of Greece at last. The civilization dominated much of the Mediterranean. It formed the foundation of much of Western culture today. The time flew quickly and in the Archaic period, 800 BC. Homer, the great poet wrote an epic, the Iliad. The Iliad features the gods, Hermes and Asclepius. Hermes is the god of commerce and trade while Asclepius is the god of medicine. They both have staffs with snake coiled around them. The only difference being is that the staff of Hermes has wings. Hermes, the ancient Greek messenger god in charge of shepherds, travel and commerce. The ancient Romans called him Mercury. The fastest of the gods, he had winged shoes and helmet to help him travel. On one adventure he saw two snakes fighting. To stop them he threw a stick at them and at once the serpents wrapped themselves around it and became fixed. Hermes liked the resulting staff so much he took it as his own. Hence the caduceus became a symbol of Hermes, of commerce and travel. So caduceus, is the wrong medicine symbol. It is the result of documented mistakes, misunderstandings and confusion. Asclepius is the god of healing, his staff is the only true symbol of medicine. Just like Hermes Asclepius was also linked to snakes. A snake was licking his ears clean and in so doing giving him healing knowledge. Asclepius would show his gratitude to snakes by carrying a staff with one snake on it, not two, one. But have you ever wondered why is a snake, which is a symbol of destruction used ironically as a symbol of healing? In 1400 BC, some Israelites were very ungrateful towards God who saved them from slavery and who gave them food and shelter amidst a desert. Still, they had a rough attitude towards God. Because of that God stopped protecting them and a bunch of snakes in the desert started biting them. Many were bitten by them and a dozen of them even died. All of them rushed to Moses for help. Moses spoke to God for them. God told Moses, make a snake image and put it on a pole. When anyone who's bitten looks at it, he will recover. Moses had a bronze snake mounted on a pole whenever someone was bitten. He looked at the bronze snake, and he would recover. Hence people started looking snakes as the symbol for healing. The other reasons why serpent has been used is the shedding of the skin that indicated longevity and immortality. Charis and Martin in 1673 subjected the viper to innumerable experimental investigations and concluded they were valuable remedies for itch, erysipelas, measles, smallpox, leprosy and were a valuable adjunct to the production of a beautiful skin. Hence, the snake has been a powerful symbol of healing itself. The snake mentioned in the symbol is an Aesculapian snake which belongs to the family Colubridae. Its zoological name is Elif Longasima. Okay, so snakes are justified in the symbol, but why stick? Does any disease that can be treated by a stick come to your mind? Yes, it is none other than Dracunculus medinensis the guinea worm. The worm is wound around the stick and pulled a little bit out every day for a week. This is potentially a disease that can be treated with the stick, that was also one of the reasons why the medical symbol originated.